Okay, hopefully you can hear this. I am going to let Caroline in. Hello. Hello. Is that Caroline? Yeah. I just make you a bit bigger. Ah, oh, that's better. Yeah. Too big, I hope. No, no. <laughs> How are you doing this morning? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you ever so much for joining us. Joining me. Yeah. Um, uh, we didn't speak last time. You spoke to my colleague, didn't you? I yes, I, it wasn't yourself. No. Oh, it was it Alistair? Was it? Um, I'm not sure. I remember it was a while ago now. I didn't. <laughs> it didn't really. look like me. Okay, that's fair enough. I so, said, "Well, yes, my name's yes. Ian. Um, I still work for 11FS, the same as the person yeah. you spoke to last time. Um, and I really appreciate you coming back uh, to talk to us. Um, just a couple of housekeeping things. Would you be okay if I recorded the our discussion? Just so I don't take. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's just for my just it's just for my my, my benefit. There we go. Um, yeah. And I do have a colleague watching as well. You can't see her, so she doesn't distract us. But again, okay. I'm just taking notes. Um, that way I can sort of just, we can have a nice conversation. Yeah. Can I just put the blind down in my room? Because there's a bit yeah. of light on the screen. If I disappear, I'm coming back. Yeah, it's all right. You go for it. Right. Yeah, that's better. Okay, great. Um, okay, so last time you spoke to us, we, we asked you loads of questions all about uh, your car and how you bought it and how you paid for it. Um, uh, because we were talk talking around um, how car financing could perhaps be a little bit more flexible. So what we've, we've been to this process where we've spoken to loads of people uh, like yourself, we did a big survey, uh, we've done lots of design work uh, and we've got some ideas that we'd like to share with you today and get your feedback on. Mm -hmm. um, so there's no right or wrong answers. That's the first thing. Um, I didn't design these things. So you can be as honest and uh, yeah. as positive as you want, as constructive as you want. You're not going to upset me. Uh, I'm completely impartial. Um, I just really want to get your views yeah, and your feedback on whether having listened to customers uh, we've gone in the right direction. Mm -hmm. um, your answers will remain anonymous. I know that you're being recorded and someone else is watching you. Uh, but, you know, we are going to talk to a, a group of people uh, and and, um, and just collate those generally. We're not going to uh, assign anything to you individually. Um, it's going to take less than an hour, hopefully. Uh, should be about 45, 50 minutes. Um, you got any questions for me before I start? No, that's fine. I understand, yes. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Well, I know you spoke with with my colleague previously, so I don't want to sort of go over all of that. And I've and I've looked back through the notes and the videos. Um, um, so I understand that you're you're a retired teacher. Is that right? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. What did you used to teach? Um, a primary school. Okay. What age group? So, um, well, I've taught all ages. I left. Um, I taught year three in my final years. Yeah. They're six to seven years old. Right. Yeah. Yeah. My, my oldest is her last day of primary school today. Oh, year six. Yeah. Is oh, year six. I've got sad. another one in year four. Yeah. Yeah. So, At least they're there this year. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You know, last year they've missed all that. Oh, I missed out so much. Yeah. Um, and you're in West Yorkshire. I'd like to say yeah. I'm getting that from the accent, but uh, I did, did that. All right. right. <laughs> Where, whereabouts? I used, whereabouts in West I, used to live, I used to live in Huddersfield for a while. All right. Yeah, I'm Halifax, so Halifax, not far okay. away at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and you drive a uh, Mocha, is it? Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, which you've got on uh, PCP, is that right? Yeah, correct. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Um, okay. Definitely talk to the right person then. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and when you spoke to them last time, you um, 
so you you tend to go i think you said you like, sort of every four years you like to get a new car so you tend to go through the sort of the pcp cycle is that right yeah my last cycle i've only done it once okay i had a car for four years um and then i've just renewed it in may so it's like my first renewal if you like okay um but i'm thinking i have liked the process and i'll probably do it again you know in another four years okay or it was just shy of four years because they always say do it a little bit before your four years so it's like three and a half right although i signed up for four yeah um i saw in the notes something to do with you with the last one you overpaid or something and then had to get a refund yes it was the timing of when i actually bought the car and when my direct debits came out they kind of clashed so at the garage um I like signed the finance agreement for the new car and it was one day after my direct debit for the old car had come out okay um so they so rather than paying like my payments were about 250 pounds so rather than paying 500 pounds that month in essence they I got the refund of my last payment for my old car and it was all it was all back within a, a week, you know, back in okay. my bank. So it was very efficient, the process. Yeah. Okay. That's how um, it worked. Okay, and that was the end of the last one before you. Yeah, moved. my final payment of the last one. And did you change? Guess, my... Sorry. No, I no, you go ahead. Pay in advance. That was why. You know what I'm meaning. So I didn't yeah, I actually didn't. have the car for that. I, I don't know how it works, but. But it all got sorted for you. It did, yeah, 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 yeah. Did you stick with the same brand of car, the same manufacturer, the same garage, or did you move? Um, yes, I, I stayed with Vauxhall, yeah, and I went to the same garage in Huddersfield, actually, yeah, okay. Perry's. Um, um, yeah, because everything went well the last time, so, yeah, so I returned. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. And has anything changed since we spoke to you last in terms of your car, your motoring, your circumstances? Um, it's only a few weeks ago, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it longer, no, I've just been, it's a new model. It's a mocker and it's actually a new model. So it's different to get used to. And it's a keyless one. And I've had a, few, I had a little bit of a problem with it. So I rang the garage about it and, and they were fine. They sorted it for me, like over the phone. So you had an, um, what, an issue with the, the yeah it's, or not this key, it's not a key, key I know what you mean but. you know the keys are keyless so you're supposed to walk up to the car and it just opens and randomly say once every six times it wasn't doing it um so I rang them about it and they said these keys it talks to each other in the night so I should keep the key further away from the car and put it in one of those Faraday bags to stop the signal. Okay. Because it talks to it. And if it's too near, the car thinks there's a problem, there's a security problem. And so it won't let you open it. You mean the two keys? Well, yeah. There isn't an actual key, it's just a fob. Yeah. Okay. So you can do it manually with the fob, but it doesn't do it as it should. I'm so, interested my, because we keep having issues with my wife's car, which is like that, and we do keep the two keys next to each other. So maybe that's the problem. Yeah, they, and he suggested, uh, I haven't got a bag yet. If you've got a biscuit tin, I know it sounds bizarre, a metal biscuit tin, put it in the metal biscuit tin and that stops the signal. So <laughs> I'm trying that at the moment and it seems to have worked. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm make it. I'm gonna make it out of that biscuit tin. Put the key in the biscuit. Yeah, tin. yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, right. Well, so, um, yeah. and any 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 more thoughts? I mean, I know at the end of the interview, like we asked um, you about. You know, yeah, what you I did actually. Time, I think you, it's the teacher in me. Like. After you know, after you've spoken to somebody, you always think about it afterwards, and you think, "Oh God, I wish I just said that." So I just jotted down some notes. I didn't know I was going oh, to talk brilliant. to you again. <laughs> But um, what the process of the PCP, they do over the, they do on the computer and it was all this control issue. Like they weren't sharing the screen with me. So I didn't know what they were doing. Okay. And I asked a question about it and he said, oh yeah, I've done that. And I just wish, I guess, I guess it's teaching again. As you're doing something on the screen, you say, all oh, right, I'm just doing this now, or I've done that. 
And then you feel part of the process. You know what's going on. Because sometimes you just sat there, say five minutes. You know what I mean? And that bugged me um, a little bit just to talk as they're actually putting stuff in. Because he made me feel a bit of an idiot when I asked a question. He said, oh, yeah, that's sorted. I've done that. You know what right. I mean? But he yeah. wasn't showing you, so you kind of... No, he wasn't showing the screen and he wasn't communicating to me what he was actually doing. Okay, yeah. so con- use the word control there. So you felt what you like, a lack of yeah, control? Yeah, that or? came up in my other... Um, you, again, teaching, I think, you like to be in control of the situation, don't you? And I felt I wasn't because I didn't know what he was doing. I knew he was doing something about the finance and checking my car, but I would have liked to have known what he was actually doing on the screen. Yeah. That is brilliant. Well, let's see if some of the things that we've come up with might help address that. You could let us know. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to share my screen in a second. um, And I've got a a few things to show you. And what we'll do is we'll just walk through them. Um, uh, so we'll start off with a web page that sort of describes a potential solution that we come up with with our client around car financing. Like I said, it's not my work. You're not going to upset me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, what I'd like you to do is sort of read through it, um, but please do think aloud. Um, mm-hmm. If you don't understand something, that's fine. Let me know. That's one. Of, that's why we're testing this. If you like something, let me know. If you don't like something, if something seems confusing. Um, yeah. And we'll sort of do that. And then I've got some specific questions to ask. But first of all, I just want you to sort of, you know, read it um, and sort of think out loud. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. So let me share my screen and then you let me know when you can see it. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that seems clear. Um, I like it's not too cluttered the page it's nice and clear and I know where to go next you know the instructions I know to click on the arrow to get to the next page um, so, yeah yeah and what do you what do you think it's telling you all about what are you expecting um, uh, on the next screen um, how um flexible vehicle financing for yeah a new way perhaps because it's saying it's time for vehicle financing to be more flexible so it's suggesting that it's a new way of approaching something okay all right let's just scroll oh, down. I couldn't, yeah yeah all right yeah um Yeah, that seems clear to me. I like, you know, the steps and the visuals and the arrows um, and the colour. Like, again, it's not too cluttered. I like the plain background. And what about what it's yeah. telling you? Um, it's telling me how to search, what to do, step one. It's, it's telling me how to do it, how to start the process to search for the best deal. Yeah. Okay. Keep going down, then I'm going to come back and ask you some specific questions. Okay. Right. Um, I'm not quite too sh- sure here. It's because um, it's just got one car, mm-hmm. the Ford Mustang. So is it because I've chosen the Ford Mustang that I'm interested in it that it's popped up? Okay. That's interesting. Not, it doesn't seem general. It's kind of hinting to me, oh, it's just about the Ford Mustang at that point. Okay. Let's keep going down. Um, sure. Yeah, that's good. It's telling me that I can try the car if I want. Um, quite a few, I've seen that. I didn't myself. Uh, I know quite a few companies I've seen are doing that now. Um, you can have a trial. Um, yeah. Again, it's nice. The font 
you know, the uncluttered page, a little bit of a visual to keep you interested. Um, I like the way it's organised on the page, the way it's designed. I like that there's a picture at one side and then as you go down, the picture's on the left-hand side. It kind of keeps your interest. Um, it's not boring. And then it's telling me I can repay the way that I want. Um, and that it's saying, yeah, um, it's saying that you're there to help if you need it always on hand so then again it's just confirming what you're going to do like going over everything again at the bottom I like that and again it's repeating this the layout at the beginning where it went step one step two step three it's got the same layout so your brain's kind of trained to look at that so again mm -hmm. it's doing the same layout which helps you understanding I think and then you can speak to an advisor if you want so yeah, I like it. Yeah, I think it's clear okay, you know, to, a gonna, to me. Yeah. I'm just going to scroll back to the top for now. The only so, thing I didn't like was that car. That I, I found that a bit confusing, but that uh, was the, the, the picture of the Mustang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And why Why do you think that is? I mean, you said well, something like it seemed like, like you didn't know, I didn't know. At this point, I might generically be looking for a car, or I might have already opted for this Ford Mustang. I don't know. When I've got to this point, that's why it's come up. Okay. So I'm not sure. Maybe I've already, or you've already chosen this car. That's why it's there. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, so at this point, this is just a, you know, like a, a, a web page to describe a service. So yeah, how would you describe this service? Having read this now, what do you think this is all about? What do you think this service is offering? The service? Um, it's offering finance. To you a way to get your car and they're saying that it's more flexible suggesting that it's a new way to do it um a different way to do it than maybe the consumer's seen in the past so it's a new way to finance a car and it's more flexible um, and is this when we spoke to you before uh are we and it's saying sorry no, I can just see okay. that bit at the bottom. It's it's uh, emphasising that you're in control. Be in the driving seat. Start paying for your new vehicle on your terms. So it's trying to emphasise that the customer's in the driving seat, in, in that bit of control. And how does that make you feel? Um, reassured, a bit comforted. Yeah, it's the emphasis is on the consumer. Rather than... Rather, your, you know, it's more personal rather than it just being, I don't know. It's personalised a little bit rather than it just being, gen, you know, just a normal. I don't know what the, the word is for it. it. It's more personal this way, the language, with you using the pronouns. Yeah, you're comfortable, your vehicle. So um, you, I think, I think your you Your terms. Way. Sorry. You, and you use the word control there again. So how do you feel this is going to give you control? What's it um, because it's saying you're in the driving seat. So if you're in the driving seat, you're control, aren't you? Okay. That analogy. Um, and it's your terms. And you'll never commit to more than you're comfortable with. So it keeps emphasising the your, your, your. Yeah. And when we spoke to you before uh, at the end of your last interview and we talked about how we could, you know, I, I think we had that question about if there's a personal assistant that could make mm -hmm. buying your next car better for you. Yeah. Is this the sort of thing you thought we were talking about? or, or was Finance it really better. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. It does. Yeah, I can see that you've worked on the control aspect. It's trying to give the, the maybe the, consumer isn't in control but you're giving them the illusion that they're in control with the language that's used um, that's interesting why why do you say yeah. the illusion of control <laughs> well i don't know language can be clever can't it so yeah and, and remember I'm, I'm not going to take offense here and i want you to be no, honest but you know what i mean you could advertisement is a way of selling products to the consumer and a lot of it is illusion sometimes and um playing yeah so is um is that is that sort of uh, is that a natural cynicism 
uh, with advertising, or is there something here that is I don't know? I studied. <laughs> I'm going or back is it, to teach something here's not as, convincing you. As a teacher, we we um we studied advertisements as part of language as and and you look at and studied adverts and how they play on, you know, wordplay, all the different things they do to get the consumer involved. So um I don't think I'm cynical, but yeah. It you're giving that image of control. Well, when we yeah. when we look at the solution itself, well, you can you, you need to let me know whether uh, we're following through on the promise uh, from this this, this web page or not. Um, yeah. Do you do you so, feel yeah. so? From what what you've read, and, and if you want me to scroll up and down at all on here to certain points, I can do that. Do you feel that this is going to be addressing your own issues and needs around car financing? Do you think this is talking to you as a consumer? As an individual? Yeah, because I can do it. Yeah, because rather than sitting in front of the um you know the car salesman or the finance guy that did it you're going to be able to do it on screen before you get to the garage and then you're going to have some idea of what you're going to pay because it's all it's always stressful going to buy a new car because you know you never know if you're going to be ripped off or not but or what you should be paying, what other people are paying. And this way, it's going to give you some knowledge of what to expect when you get to the garage and hopefully take away that stress and anxiety that I certainly feel. And, you know, talking to other people, I know other people feel this way as well. So, yeah, it will give you information before you got there. Okay. Yeah. And is that in, that's, so that's the information that you felt when you described to me earlier your last experience you weren't getting from the... That's the right, day. yeah. Yeah, and you're in charge of it all because presumably I would do this at home before I went to see the okay. car. That's what I'm thinking I would do and think, oh, right. yeah, that's a good deal. Um, I'll go and see the, see the car. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and are there any elements here particularly, that you particularly like or dislike from first glance? I know you've mentioned the the Mustang you didn't like. Is that? Yeah. Well, like I said before, yeah, I like the the way it's set out. It's clear. It's not. There isn't a lot of clutter on the page. So, and I like um, I like the way it's these arrows. There's some visuals, but not. It's not too busy. Um, and there's not people popping up. You know, sometimes you get videos playing and a lot happening. It's quite straightforward. I think. Yeah. So I like that. Okay. I like the way it's set out. Yeah. Um, and I know that you said that you felt this was for you. Can you think of any other, any, any other groups of people or audiences you think this is particularly aimed for? I mean, who might you, you think who might be using this? Um. Well, people. People perhaps who haven't um, used PCP before. It would be a way for them. If you weren't sure of the actual process or how much it was going to cost, people perhaps who were on a tight budget and mm. they wanted to know, you know, before they went to the garage and then thought, oh, gosh, we can't really afford it, it would give them an idea of what they, they could afford for their, for their budget. Um, they might be surprised. They might be able to, you know, upgrade to a... A different model um but until you actually know what you're going to have to pay you don't know that do you so yeah. yeah yeah i think people who haven't done pcp before it would be a good way in to that finance scheme yeah excellent okay thank you i think what, we, what we'll do now then is I've, I've got um i've got four more screens to show you okay and each one is going to have uh three screens of um uh, a mobile website or a mobile app yeah and again what i'll do is i'll let you have a look i will give you a really yeah. brief a little brief description so you kind of know where this might fit into the process but again mm -hmm. i'd like you to have a look think out loud um and then ask questions yeah and i can explain yeah. um and, and and i can probe you with things okay okay so the first one and again, remember, I'm completely neutral here. So, so yes, you, yeah. <laughs> be honest. <laughs> so this first one uh, is around trying to understand your needs to help you find the right vehicle and the right mm -hmm. financing. Yeah. Okay. 
So what we've got is three screens which might appear um, mm. uh, in order and a process. Yeah. So On have the a look, app. Uh, and tell me, tell me what you see and what you're thinking. Hi. Yeah. How can we help you today? I'm not sure. Oh, like I mentioned, you know, it's helping people who aren't sure what their budget will get you or people who are on a tight budget. Yeah. Who, people who know exactly what they can afford every month. So that's good. Um, or there's an option. Those people like myself who knew what car I wanted, you can go in it at the bottom level. So there's two levels there. You can either go in and search for on budget or you can go in and search for vehicle yeah what vehicle you want so that again that's clear it's not cluttered um and then moving on to the second screen how much do you want to pay that's good because you know that's the question most most people will know so that's easy to put in how much do you want to pay as a deposit do you want to keep the vehicle at the end of the agreement i'm not sure yeah that was what I was not sure about at, when I first purchased the car, how it works at the end of the agreement. Right. Um, you know, this, I think they call it this balloon payment at the end. So you can right. either keep the car or uh, give it back. And they give you so much towards, um, they give you so much for it that they agree a price that it's worth at the end of the four years. Um and I wasn't quite sure how that all worked. Um, so I'm presuming if you click on the I'm not sure, you would get some explanation about that. Okay, that's it. so that's what not, you'd like to see you personally. Yeah, if you, if see sure. if it was my first time, I would probably click on that, I'm not sure. Um, and then I'm presuming there's some guidance there. And how would you want to see that guidance? Um, do you want, to do you want information? In? Do you want to speak to somebody? Do you want um, a video? Well, information, information. So perhaps you could, uh, do you want to keep the vehicle at the end of the agreement? So yes. So you could have two screens underneath on you. It would say yes, and what would happen? And then no, and the consequences of no. And then perhaps there could be the speak to an advisor prompt. Okay. If you, again, wanted some more information. Yeah. So some written advice and the option to speak to an advisor at that point. Okay. Great. Yeah, it's brilliant. I can't see. Oh, can I move your window? I can't see the third one. All right. I'm just moving. Uh, what do you need from your new vehicle? Tap to select the options. Um, I think there it would be useful. It does say you have selected three items. It would be useful to put a little bit to say, you can pick as many options as you want. Okay. Or, yeah, I'm presuming you can, but it's not clear. People might think, yeah. Um, no commitment, uh, flexible payment. Uh, I'm not quite sure what they mean by low commitment. Okay. What, what's it saying to you? Low at the commitment. Moment? Finance, it's, I'm thinking, low commitment. So maybe is it the deposit? But I'm not 100%. Okay, that's that's that good feedback, yeah. I think you're right. It could be deposit. It could be length of agreement. It or it could be commitment to the car that you don't have to clean it a lot. I don't know. It's that. <laughs> well, I don't. I like that one. You know, yeah. <laughs> the rest are explanatory, low commitment. Is it to do with the finance? Perhaps okay. it could be. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. You have selected three items. Yeah. Again, at the top, perhaps it, to make it clear that you can choose as many options as you want, I think would help. Okay, great. So, yeah, I think, um, so what, what's, what's standing out? What's popping for you at, in, in this first one? Which? All three screens. All three. Yeah. Yeah, it's clear. Yeah. Yeah. The first screen, especially. Um, and the second screen, again, hopefully, if you click on the I'm not sure, it gives you more information or the option to speak to somebody. Um, and the final screen, just to make it clear, 
you can choose as many as you want and low commitment perhaps that could be worded is it deposit then why doesn't it say yeah. low deposit i would have thought okay. it, <laughs> yeah 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 so um let's fast forward you your yes. your your mocker is up for renewal um yeah. and you've you're, you're using this this service what what would you do in face so with this first screen what are you going to hit where you, well, would you go to the, I'm not sure what budget will get me or I know what vehicle I want? Um, I don't know. I might do both even, you know. I might search with both. Okay. Um, if I do know the car, mock it, I'd put in that. I know which vehicle I want to purchase. I think I'd do that first. And then I might think, oh, I'll just see what my budget could get me, you know, just out of interest, really. Hmm. So I think I might do both. Um, and on that second screen, are they sort of when you're thinking about your budget? Yeah. Are they the sorts of questions that you ask yourself, or is there anything else? Yes, yeah, how much? Like when I went for my new mocker, I thought because I paid two hundred and fifty for my first one, and then I thought this is a new model; it might be a bit more. So within my head, I thought I'm not going to pay more than three hundred. I expect it to be fifty pounds more, and it was like two hundred and eighty. So it was, yeah. So yeah, I do. I think people do ask them that question, you know. And if you budget monthly, you've got most people have a mortgage or the rent, and you know, etc. You you must have a, a budget, um, and how much you could afford as a deposit as well. Yeah, whether you've got a car to trade in, so. Okay, that's an interesting one, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, come to think of that, yes. Um, there's nothing there mentioning that you can trade in a, an old car or use it to pay the deposit, because that's the way I've always done it. Like when I got my first PCP, I traded in my old car. Okay, so in terms, that, of your, yeah. in terms of your budgeting, mm -hmm. that might be a, okay. So that's a question you'd have there because there might be a value there. Okay, that's a about good the deposit. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then on that third screen, yeah. Um, I, I mean, I know so low commitment. There's a bit of confusion there. Yeah. Terms, so what we're trying to do here is sort of narrow down the choices by understanding what your needs are. Yeah. Uh, are these asking the right sorts of questions for you, or are there, is there anything missing? Yeah, I would think for myself that screen is not that question is not as useful as the other two okay you know it sounds like a bit of a survey you know when you survey you <laughs> yeah. select you know what I mean those questionnaires that you get so for me I don't see that as valuable as the other okay. two okay. no um because they're all important to you really aren't okay. they so uh, let yeah. me ask you a question so so let so you've hit the um you were looking for your marker, but then you thought, I'll just see what else my budget can get me. Yeah, and you put yeah. in what you can afford each month and you've put in your deposit yeah. and you've said whether you mm -hmm. want to keep the car. And maybe you've also said, well, I've got a trade in and it's worth this much or I've got a trade in. Let me know how much it's worth. Yeah. In order to narrow down the choices of the cars that you can afford, what are those sort of questions that you would ask yourself? So what would you want to be on this third screen to help? Because you know, rather than um, you see every car that you can afford. Mm. But then again, I quite like that. I guess it's a time thing, isn't it? With being retired, I like, and I'm used to searching for information, so I wouldn't mind if there were a, a few cars in front of me. Okay. I wouldn't feel the need to reduce it and reduce it, so it only just came up with one car. Okay. I quite like it showing me different cars and perhaps okay. looking at them, but that's me. Um and that's and that's why we're talking to you because we want to know your views. Yeah. Okay. Let me it, ask it this way then. So, thing, isn't it? sorry. Yeah. No. Um, so, um, do you do you use Amazon? I'm just. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so if you put I don't know, um, uh, flat screen TV into Amazon, and it will come up with like a thousand choices. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, and then but you might order it or filter it just to narrow it down, you know, by price or customer views or. So if you, if you, yeah. if you yeah. did this and it came up with, you know, 64 different cars and deals, mm -hmm. how would you start to process that and prioritise and, and filter? The cars. 
Or would you just or would you just read through them all? Would there be 64? I'm not sure there would be that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I okay, think let's I say would, six. Yeah, even just, even just yeah six. again, yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing a selection. I like the choice. Okay. I'm not impulsive. You know, when you go shopping, I'm not one of these people that buys the first thing that you see. I maybe see something, I think, ooh, I'll just look around the other shops, you know. So <laughs> I like the choice. Again, that control. Um, so, and I would quickly scan say there were 64 cards you can quickly scan through the screens wouldn't you and I myself would select the ones that I wanted okay yeah. so you would click say I like this one yeah I'd look a, a bit and then more you would it. filter that way so you'd end up having a list of just the ones that you'd click yeah to say you'd like. yeah yeah okay. it's a bit like holidays like I've been looking at you know holidays like you choose a resort and then you filter down don't you and but to begin with you have quite a lot yeah to look at okay that's great yeah so yeah all right and what so before i move on what so you, you've got your list of cars then what do you want to do next um, and, then, and then we'll go to the screen and show you what we think we would do next um so i've got my list of cars um you'd want to click on the car and find more hopefully you would see what you're going to pay on a monthly basis how much deposit you would have to pay on that one. Um, hopefully you would see more information about it um, in detail, you know, about the spec and okay. the engine, the colours, um, that kind of thing. Maybe a video of it, little video. Um, I'm just thinking what I saw when I bought my mocha. Yeah, you know, like in a grid, you see different models and it ticks yeah. the boxes what each car has. So a lot more detail, I think okay. is what I'm saying. A lot more detail about the actual car that I've chosen and All the right. options on it. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's have a look then. Yeah. <laughs> so this one is about like giving it. you, this is, this, this is about giving you suggestions and helping you to take no, the yeah, next yeah. step of ownership of your yeah. car. So, yeah, so after I've filled ticked it, it's, it's recommending the Cougar. Um, it's got, it's going to be £270 a month, comfort, low commitment. Oh, it's using that low commitment, which I don't, yes, I know. <laughs> I don't understand. No, yeah. but I mean, in this yeah. example, so someone had yeah. put in, you know, yeah. maybe they, their, their budget was 300 a month. They designed. Um, and they had selected comfort and low commitment. So it's showing how that yeah. car matched. Yeah, okay. Mm. Again, it's it's very confusing anyway explore further so hopefully if i click it's a blue link so i must be able to find more information hopefully if i explored further it would tell me more about the car itself rather than just the finance um is that and what you would want or what your expectation is sorry that's my expectation that. yeah and perhaps how the finance worked a little bit what the deposit would be and then Sometimes it says month one, this, and after 48 months, it's this, what the balloon payment would be, what what you would, what its value would be at the end of the deal. The mileage as well, you need to know what miles are in the deal. Because okay. sometimes you can change, it hasn't mentioned that, come to think of it yet. Um, you know, you can adjust the mileage for your deal, you can adjust the time. So hopefully there's some options if I explore further to, to do that, to tweak the deal a little bit yeah. more. Um, yeah. And then I'm not sure what the arrows are. Is that because there are other cars? Are those arrows, you know, the little up and down? Is that yeah. because there are other cars available for my budget? So uh, the arrow, can you see my cursor? Those, yeah, yeah. These. I'm not sure uh, what. Is that because there's another car? I think that's so you can um, expand and collapse. So you can see that one. Oh, big. right. So, okay. I mean, not 64, let's be, let's say six or then maybe 10. So if you scroll down here, there might be the 10 vehicles. Other cars, that, that, that's what I'm thinking. There are other deals yeah. for my budget. Yeah, if you scroll down. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you would want yeah. to see, you'd want to see everything available here, would you, in your. Oh, yes, because there's a focus CTEC, isn't there, which is different. Mm. Yes, of course. Yes, I would like to see the options, yeah. 
because it's clear you just you're not giving a lot of information about it it's just scrolling through isn't yeah. it it's not yeah um and then on the next screen what do you want to do next book a dealership visit yeah i think i'd want to do that see it in real life receiving partial advice about getting the right mm -hmm. i might not want to do that Let's get purchasing. Major choice could be everything online. Send me the suggestions. We'll send you the information. Yeah, that's useful so that you don't have to screenshot it yourself, everything. You can just, they'll send it, they'll, they'll send it to you. Yeah. Um, and then if I've booked the car, your travel vehicle is on its way. So let me explain this one. So um, this links back yeah. to on the, on the first uh, website we looked at, we had that try before you buy. Yes, if I'd so that might be another that. option here. So as well as booking a dealership visit, chatting to an advisor, purchasing yes. and suggestions, there would be another one here where uh, would you like to try before you buy? And yeah. if you do that, then this is the this is what you might see if you hit the try before you buy option. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I think. Hopefully there's more information about the trial. Yeah. I would like that because it's a new thing. You need to know for insurance, how it's going to be insured. Yeah. Uh, so let, let me let, let me propose that um, if you uh, looked at these deals and perhaps there's a car you weren't quite sure about yet. And yeah. you said, um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to drive it for a month. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and maybe I'm paying, let's just say, you know, a rental fee that is uh, equivalent to the, your first monthly payment. So if you wanted to try this Cougar Zoo Tech, mm, you paid two hundred pounds a month oh, right. to basically yeah. rent it for the month. And if mm. you loved the car, you just kept it and, he, and you transferred over On to the final test. Ah, uh, right. As long as it was the right colour and spec and they had everything yeah. to buy it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. That's how it would work. Yeah, because you'd want to know what, the process, because it's new to me, this trial, what happened to my old car? Would mm -hmm. the garage keep it as a, like, bond, if you like? So I wouldn't have two cars at home, would I? I'd just what have this. You, well, what would you want to happen? Um, well, I think, because I personally, I haven't got room for two cars, and there isn't anyone in the household that needs the other car, so I would like to leave my other car at the garage, the garage, so okay. like, and that not be insured. So just swap my insurance over, my current insurance to this one, or do the dealer insure it? Is that part of the deal? There's a lot of questions I think about it. Yeah, okay. the ins and outs of it. Mm. So how would you want to resolve those questions around the tribe? Um, I think myself, I'd like to talk to somebody about it. Yeah. Mm. And would you want to talk to someone at a dealership or would you want to talk to, so, I mean, interestingly on the second screen, you said you wouldn't want to chat to an advisor. Yeah. But if you, if it was about a try before you buy, would that then? Yeah. Yeah. Cause that's saying about the right finance plan. I think myself, I'd be quite confident that I'd kind of sorted the, the right finance, but about the try up period, I think I'd like to talk to somebody because I don't feel as knowledgeable about that. Okay. Um, yeah. Now, when, when we spoke earlier, um, mm -hmm. you, you described your experience at the Vauxhall garage where the, the salesperson was doing stuff on the screen and not showing you, and you said you had a lack of control. Mm -hmm. I'm interested to know if you'd been through this process and you'd filled in the questions on the last screen and you'd got all your mm -hmm. options. Yeah. Um, yeah. Would, that, would, would that help? Would that make you feel any different next time you went to a dealership? Yeah, because presume it. I don't know if this is personalised to me, this offer, so that when I get to the garage, the dealer, I, d I hope it's all linked to the four dealers so that when I get to the garage, they don't have to go through the whole process again. So I can go and try a cool gazette. Yeah, love it, love it. And that's the deal I'm going to get, £270 a month. Yeah, so that it doesn't change once yeah. I get there. And we have yeah. to start from scratch. So, yes, if that is what happens, then yes, because I've done the work myself at home. 
you know what I mean? I've got the information myself to take to the garage and share with them. And how's so, that going to make you feel like, this time when you go into that dealership? It would make me feel more confident, more, I think, less stressed. As long as it was, as long as they stuck to it. Yeah. There was that guarantee. Yeah. Yeah. And how, OK, interesting. That's an interesting yeah, word. So what, what, what would you want in order guarantee. to feel like you've got that guarantee? Well, perhaps something on the screens that said this offer will be, this deal will be guaranteed at blah, 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 garage within, I suppose, a time frame, because things go up, don't they? Within yeah. 28 days or whatever, you know. Um, yeah, I'd like some sort of guarantee that that's the deal I'm going to get. And, and it'll and take all that out where they, they to and fro. Oh, that's the offer. Well, what about this? You know, all that game that they play with you. Um, yeah. And do you think you would book a dealership visit or would you get your your suggestions sent to you and just walk into a dealership? How would you how would you want to do that? Sorry, what, what do you mean? Would I I've chosen the car? Yeah. Here. Um yeah. would, would you I go click to the... book a dealership visit or would you just walk into a dealership? Um, I would book a dealership visit, yeah, because when I went to test drive my mocker, I rang to, you know, to make an appointment because they spend quite a lot of time with you, don't they? And they have to get the car prepared. So I would book. I don't want to just rock up and then have to wait. Um, and dealers are sometimes not local, so you might have to travel there. So you want to know they're going to see you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's not going to be some problem when you get there. Yeah, so I would book a dealership visit that way, yeah. And the, and the try before you buy, yeah. uh, I take it that you, you've you got lots of questions and you want more, more yeah. information. Mm. Um, but is it something, if they could be, if, if we could um, reassure you with the answer to your questions, is it something you would be interested in? Yeah, possibly, yeah. For um, Especially when this time it was a completely new car. It was like a new car I was buying because it's totally different. Um, yeah. But wouldn't you want to... I like... I guess I'm old school. I would... The process I would do, yeah, I'd look at the finance and everything on the first screen. And then I would like to book a dealership visit to look at it in the flesh, if you like, sitting it and blah, blah, blah. And then I would like to talk to the dealer about the trial period. That would be the order of how I would go about purchasing yeah. a car to use this trial period. I wouldn't just look at the finance screen and then um, ask for a trial period. No. Um, yeah. That would be further down the line for you. Yeah, yeah. I'd look at the finance screen, book a dealership visit, confirm again that that is the actual price I'm going to pay, all those little questions I might have in my head. And um, they say, yeah, this is the deal we could offer you. Boom, boom, boom. We can get the car within a decent time frame because I know, you know, there's a big delay on cars isn't it, at the moment. I know mm. um, new cars are not available as you would wish. And then... And look for a trial. Yeah. Okay. And I presume, um, again, it doesn't, again, in the information, you want to know, I'm presuming it's a trial. So if you don't like the car, you don't have to keep it. <laughs> you, you need to have that clear, don't you? That, that was going to be my question. What, you know, what would you want to happen at the end of that trial period? You know, whether you were handling right. it back or purchasing. So the two options. One, I love the car. And I want it, so you sign on the dotted line, and the car would be yours. Um, and presumably they've arranged all the tax, everything for your old car to the tax swap over and everything. Um, two, I don't like the car. I'd want to know, yeah, what I do then. Well, I take it back to the garage and just, yeah. But you want it in kind of black and white. What yeah. is? what is going to happen like it's very clear those screens like very clear information about what will happen if you don't like the car um and you what to do you, you to oh also i just thought um you said the trap is for a month say you have it for a week and you just think no 
this isn't for me, I don't want it. Can you take it back after a week? Okay. Also, after a week, you, I think you get to know a car pretty quickly if you've driven a while. And maybe after a week, you think, oh, I love this, I love this. And you just want to move forward then. You don't want to wait the whole month. Mm-hmm. Is that an option too? Okay. You know, is, it, is it flexible in that respect? That's a really good um, idea, yeah. Yeah, flexibility. Like a month is the longest you can trial, but you could, yeah. Because if you really hate it, or can't, so you want to be able to make once you've made your decision, it, you, you want to take it back, don't you? But, yeah. Once you've made your decision, you just want it. That's it. I want to send yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Right. And for that's me, great. I think I would make that decision in a week. In a week, yeah. not a month. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Okay, yeah. gonna move. I'm gonna move us on. Um, right. That's okay. Um, yeah. If any other thoughts pop into your head, um, yeah, as we, move on, we, yeah. we can always come back. Yeah. So this next one is about giving you control to adjust your repayments. Um, right. Working oh, around good. your life. Yeah. Yeah. So this is when I've bought it. So this is you bought it. You've owned a vehicle. You you've got yeah. this again with this, this is like an app on, on your phone app, or, or a website. Yeah. So that you can you can monitor your payments, you can flex your payments, you can make changes, and you can, and right, you can you see can it with a, a bank account kind of thing. Yeah, you can that's see exactly. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, so it can tell you how much you paid, remind you of your next payment if you need it. I guess people are not. I always think I'm quite organised, but I know people lead busy lives, don't they? And they need that kind of reminder. Flex. So that's the one it's on. That's my flex regular payment. So, Which, so yeah, what you can see here is that you've, you know, you've, you've, you've paid three thousand pounds off of your car, so you're on track with your finance payments. Your next yeah. payment is due on Monday the twenty sixth, two hundred seventy pounds, and then you've got an option here if you want to change that. You know, you want to flex it. Oh right, I was thinking because that was highlighted. That was that screen flex regular payment. I thought that's what it was showing me. All oh, right. So if I wanted to change it, yeah, like we discussed this with your colleague, um, that possibly that would be a good idea for people in different occupations. Sometimes the salary ebbs and flows according to yeah. the year, doesn't it? Yeah. I know with teaching, you get the same amount every month, but some work is seasonal, isn't it? If you're an actor or an actress or other seasonal work, you might want to pay more off, say, during the summer. And, and less in the winter. So I guess that isn't a good idea for the way the world's going, isn't it? More flexible, you know, people work more flexibly, don't they? So, yeah. Um, so on that second screen, and if you've selected flex regular payments. Flex. You yeah, can- set your new amount, yeah. So instead of 270, I've got some income coming in the next couple of months. Yeah, so I want to increase it eight yeah. months. And confirm. Yeah, that, that seems straightforward to me how to do it. And you could also look, can't you? You know, you could say, oh, if I just set it to um, 320 in seven months, what happens? It, it lets you play around with it. Is that what it? you want to do? Like, you know, I'm, yeah, yeah I like that on the first that. one as well. Yeah, you want to play around with different options. Again, it's yeah. that you are in control, you know. You've so would you knowledge. want? So would you want to see the results on screen three before you confirmed? Hang on. So screen three. Um, yes, I would. Yes, I'm seeing screen three. Yeah. It's like your mortgage, isn't it? If you pay off some. Yeah, I'd like the confirm on. Yeah. I'd like to see the uh, what happens if I pay more for less months. Or pay less for more months. Yeah, the different options. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, move the confirm to there. Okay, and, and uh, is there any options? Really, uh, you... Sorry, unless it will fit on screen image two, that, but probably not. Um, quick top up. I guess that's um, going back to image one. I guess that's just a one off payment. Yeah like an overpayment so again I guess it would be nice to see if you did say you paid an extra thousand to see what it would happen to your overall plan before you decided to actually do it confirm it yeah okay yeah 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 
Yeah, that's good. Of, I like that. Yeah, yeah. In, in terms of what it does to your overall plan, um, mm-hmm. we've got that example on slide on on the on in image three. What? Yeah. What would you want? Is there anything any options missing? What would you want? You know, if you were going to over, let's start with it. If you were going to be overpaying because you had some extra income, yeah. What, what would you want to see happening to your 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 car finance plan? Um. Well, I guess you would own it earlier. You could either own it earlier or you could pay less for the remaining time of the loan. And would you want to see those options? Yeah, both options, yeah, which, yeah. And also, um, sometimes, like payment holidays with credit cards and things, is the how many times can you do this within the time of the um, loan? Can you just do this once, change all your payments or not? Yeah. I think I'd want to know that maybe. Or can you only do it once a year? Are there any limits to it? Because you could be again, changing you, again, it. you want to see those rules, don't you? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm sensing you're a very rules-based person. Graphs. You want to see those yeah, rules. Yeah, yeah. Well, to know exactly because then, yeah. You might think, well, I won't do it this year. I'll leave it to next year to flex it. If, if you're the kind of person that likes to plan ahead. Because you might do it and then you can only do it once. And you might do it and then wish when you find out that you can't do it the following year or you can't do another change to your plan. Um, and you wish you did. So I think you need to know the options. Would you have any concerns about flexing your payments up and down over the period of your finance um if i had to do it if my circumstances um no as long as the rules were clear that i Mm. wasn't going to lose my car or it would go on my credit record that i hadn't well that's another thing yeah it wouldn't go on my credit record that i hadn't made payments and things like that yeah no if I was in those particular circumstances, I think it's a, a good idea. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and I recognise that you said this wouldn't have been something for you so much because of your regular, yeah. regular payments. Yeah. Um, yeah. But for those people then that you talked about, um, mm-hmm. as actresses, you know, people that have seasonal work or, or yeah. come up and down, um, yeah. what benefit do you think this is going to give them? Well, perhaps it would be easier for them to not to worry in those months where um, they perhaps didn't have enough income or less income to cover it. So it could personalise it for them. Okay. Make it make their life easier and their lifestyle better. And can you so think of any circumstances? A, sorry. Yeah, I was just going to say, so they weren't scrimping and scraping for a couple of months. Yeah. Um, sorry, yeah. You, you can you see any circumstances where you might use this, even though you've got a regular income? Yeah. Well, my pension now. Yeah. Pension, yeah. Yeah. Um, not myself, because, you know, I know my pension, what I get every month. So. Okay. Um, not as a retired person, no. All right, let's let's move on and look at the the last one then. Um, so this is about helping you get ahead of repayments yeah. with smart automatic payment boosts. Mm. So this is about connecting your bank account and making automatic top up payments based on spending activity. So the first step is here: you would connect your bank account in a very secure way. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, you know, you're not, none of your personal details are, are connected or seen. Mm. It, it means you could set up rules. For example, when you spend money at your local, your petrol station, um, it automatically tops up. You know, you could select the amount or whatever. Um, so every time I go to BP and fill up my car, I'm going to pay five pounds off my car finance. And you can help yourself um, pay off your finance by, by linking it to spending rules. Right. I don't like that at all. I'm sorry. You don't like that at all. <laughs> said, to be honest, no. What is it? What is it you don't like about that? I just don't like that whole idea. Because it's more what's the word? It's more ad hoc. 
I don't just want to be every time I go and pay some petrol paying five pound off my or ten pound or whatever, twenty pound off my finance. Like again, I like to be in control. I like to know every month this comes out and I perhaps I'm not flexible. I don't want it to suddenly change and harder to keep track of. Okay. I think as a if you were a busy person or a person who um finds it more challenging to uh, come I don't know what the word is I don't want to be negative you know some finds it more challenging to look after the budget and things you'd very easily lose track of which five pounds you paid here there and everywhere so I really strongly do not like that idea okay for myself no, no, that's, um, and that's, also that's I I know you said it's very secure Again, I might be old school, but I don't. I do have online banking. That's about it. I don't like, you know, when you go on Amazon and things. I don't keep my details in there. That kind of thing, the security of it. So, um, I might be more likely to. And I don't know if I wanted to just repay something. Oh, that's that automatic payments, isn't it? Yeah, no, I, I totally. No. do not like that idea. So, you, so you liked the the quick top up we had back yes here, you're that one definitely but, yeah because you're one. in control of it and it's you get again co- can we go back to the screen yeah um because then you know and i presume uh once you changed it you would get um an email from ford flex or whatever to say your this is your something in writing again to show your contract and how it had changed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not just ad hoc, five pounds here and five pounds there. Yeah. So, yeah, this idea I can go with. Yeah, I'm okay. comfortable with that. Yeah, but not so, that at all. So just no. to check here, you're not comfortable with the, the ad hoc payment yeah. which you can still track with, and you're also not comfortable with linking the bank account as well. Yeah, more so the ad hoc bit um this as well i'm not comfortable with but this okay. mostly I, could I you like think of any all. any way that you could do these sort of automatic payments that would be less ad hoc and more in control for you to make more payments mm. but why would i make more payments want to make more payments would that then come off my monthly yeah, so the the idea here is that like like with the flex payments and the quick top up, it's a way of yeah. helping customers who want to uh, get ahead of their car, fi- car finance, give themselves like that overpaying, offer, overpay, yeah. a bit like the mortgage. Yeah, so if if, yeah, if you might then need to take a a, a payment holiday, or right. you, or, yeah. you want, or maybe get more equity in the car or pay your car off quicker. Yeah, right. A different way of doing it. Mm. Yeah. Um, oh, I see. So it's not that say. I topped it up with £20 this mm. month from visiting the petrol station. It doesn't mean that my, say, £250 direct debit is going to change to £230. Uh, not necessarily automatically, but I guess potentially you could, because if, if we got here yeah. and you had you paid more off and you're not just on track, you're ahead of your payments, yeah. then I you can, could, in here, yeah. flex your monthly payment down. Yeah, I'd kept within the terms and conditions because I'd spend, yeah, yeah. no, it just... No, still not for you. I mean, I think I'm good at controlling my five dances, but this I would find very confusing. So of everything. The, the reason I'm interested to know where your problem yeah. is, the, this is just an example we, we've come up with. Yeah. You know, you could link it to petrol stations mm. and it's a fixed amount. It could be a percentage. Yeah. It could be linked to, to, I don't know, how much you've got in your savings account. It could be, you know, there'd be any lots of flexibility on the rules that you could set. It's more the principle I'm interested here in connect your bank the account. The principle. Or, mm. and, you know, so you that, this yeah, topic. you can link how much you pay off to how much you're spending or saving. Mm. Try to spend, get you to save more. Is it aimed at people who find it hard to save? I don't know. Okay, that's interesting, yeah. Uh, that's that one feeling it's kind of aimed at people that need more support with the finances and mm. keeping them on track i think um yeah okay well, i'm, I'm con- taking more money out and it, is it 
is it quite rigid? So it's every time you go, you might go to the petrol station. And think, oh God, I've only got enough for twenty pound of petrol this month. It's nearly payday. You don't want the extra five pound coming out as well. Okay. So can you switch it off? Can you switch it on and off? Okay, it's a good, good, good point. You know, it might you might be just in who knows, you know, circumstances change a lot, don't they? Some of them okay. might be really. You know, after Christmas and that long month of January, most people struggle, don't they, to the, the next payday. So, or if you've got your car MOT. So you don't want to be able to turn this off and on. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. Can you switch it on and off? Um, mm, yeah. Okay. Look, I'm conscious of of of, uh, of time, Caroline. Um, okay. it's, it's, but you've given me so much great stuff. That's why we've. Um, All right, it's no worries. <laughs> I've just got just got a, a few questions to wrap up. So, thinking about everything that we've looked at, of those sorts of four customer experiences we had. So we had the um, choosing, you know, choosing what you're what you're looking for. There's getting your information, um, yeah. making some action. There's the flexing your payments, and there's the. Yeah linking to your bank account of the mm. four which one do you felt was most relevant for you and why um can we go back to the beginning the first one um, and then the second one i think the first one i liked because that's let me go back to the first one um because that is what i felt i didn't have control about this how much I would pay and what the deposit would be. Um, that's kind of giving me more control over it and more confidence when I go into the garage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and is yeah. that then intrinsically the linked screen. to this though? Because These you think two, you yeah. That yeah. first screen, maybe not so much that. And that first screen there where it comes up with the different options. Yeah. Um, yeah. And obviously you can see this is, this is linked to the Ford brand. Uh, the brand, <laughs> yeah, the Ford brand. Ford. Yeah. Uh, is that is this the sort of thing you would expect from Ford, or was this surprising for you? Um, I've never had a Ford car. I don't. Um, no, I wouldn't say. Yeah, I would expect for they're a big company, aren't they, to have this kind of option. Okay. I wanted to move with the times and move forward. Yeah, I would expect this to be there excellent okay um all right then just to wrap up then so if you were to search for this on google mm -hmm. you wanted to find this this service what what words would you be typing into google to find it um i specifically wanted ford if you wanted what i've shown you here today all right so i wanted to buy a ford car i would put in ford finance options but if you wanted to find this particular service that I've, I've showed you uh, maybe Ford flexible finance oh, that's okay and if you were to um I don't know as you might do if you if you go and you're sort of going out with a friend later on today and you were telling them what you've been interviewed about this morning how would you describe yeah. this to them in a, in a sentence oh, one sentence <laughs> um, about um flexible financing for cars that mm -hmm. give you more control over the process okay brilliant a long sentence I don't know. <laughs> um okay and you've told me what you've told me what you liked and uh and 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 you dislike the lack of control that you get mm -hmm. in the last one mm -hmm. um how does it compare to what your you know what when, when i showed you the first the first web page um does this fit is it oh, that first screen, like the homepage? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. What From what you yeah. read here, did did it did it fit with what you were expecting? Yeah, definitely. To yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Um, and if do you, you feel like we're... To that after you'd searched, you know, if that came popped up, yeah. Um, difficult question, but do you feel like we are showing offering the benefits of flexible car finance, or is there anything that you think we've missed? with this yeah not yourself personally you mean not me with this yeah how do you mean so our ford yeah with with, with everything we've shown here and i take that this last one here that, that the payment boost that's not yeah. for you but let's focus on the other three um are they could you just re say it again uh, 
Are we showing the benefits of flexible car finance? Are they showing the benefits of flexible? Yes, they. Yeah, I'm sorry. They, just, they really, I, isn't I, it? Yes. Here's their representative in this interview. Yeah. Are they showing the... Yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's quite clear. Um, okay, last last question then. If you were... um. If I was going to commission you to make an advert for this, what would your tagline be for that advert? Oh, I mean the headline. Yeah. Oh. Um, hmm. First thing that pops into your head. A new approach to finance. <laughs> that's perfect. Thank you. Um. That's it. I'm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's all I had to show you. You've, you've been absolutely amazing. I'm sorry we've run over by five minutes, but um, you just had so much information to give me. <laughs> uh, any final thoughts that you want to leave me with or questions you've got for me? No, I think we've covered everything. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. I hope you uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Managed yeah. to stay, stay cool. I know. <laughs> Okay. Is it, is, it, is it nice and hot up there in ha Halifax? Is it? Yeah, one more day, I think it's hot. One more day, okay. Yeah. All right, brilliant. Hot. Well, thank you ever so much, Caroline. I really appreciate your time today. No worries. Thank All you. Right. Cheers. Bye. 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 Bye.